Good morning traders. Today is Tuesday at 9.31 a.m. I'm looking at the S&P 500 futures. Currently we're down about four points trading at 13.20 right around where the 50-day moving average is. Right now I'm watching for a bounce. Now we did break this trend line here we have a little descending triangle forming but if we do get a bounce and consolidate and hold this 1320 level you could see it move back above the 1343 and ignite this rally once again to 1400 I still believe we are going here there's a little turbulence on the way but uh, I think our goal will definitely be reached uh, if we do slip below the 1320 I just don't see us holding below 1307 but again anything's possible this is just my opinion and if this did happen we'd play it accordingly if some kind of bad news came out I told you guys a few months ago look out for Greece look out for Spain Portugal all them will be coming back on the table well that's pretty much why we went down in this area and caused the dollar to catch a bid momentarily we do have that key level right around uh, 74.21 and we're holding over that now we uh, actually have an ascending 5, 10 and 20 and we're right around the 50 we just crossed above that and the 5 crossed above that so I do like this but usually whenever the dollar gets going you come up to a previous high if you even make it there and that's usually when you'll see the supply that will look something like this and uh, start coming back down and potentially retest lows. Now if this happened you could assume that the market will go up. Alright so looking at the crude oil chart over here on the right we have a weekly and you see this huge down bar right here. This doesn't mean anything it just means that the demand dried up the speculators to push the prices higher. A lot of people were talking about the margin requirements being raised. That's why crude oil went down. I disagree with that. And the reason is that if margin rates go up and it costs you more to trade, that's only going to shake out the retail investors. So it's actually going to give the institutions a better edge. It went down for various reasons, not that I have time to discuss right now because I want to get back to trading. But the thing that I want to point out is, look for the 200 day moving average around $90. I don't see us slipping below this. And let's just say we caught a bounce in the next few days before Friday, because I'm not holding going into the weekend and we got back above 100, I might take a long to retest this prior high. So I'm just going to keep watching this one. And if we do come down to 90, yes, I will be taking a, a lot of longs here in different oil plays. All right, next I'm looking at silver. And this is probably one of my favorite charts going into the midweek session. Notice on this sell-off right here, you had increasing volume. And then lately, during this little decline you've had descending volume if we continue to move down and the dollar continues to go up and we get to the $30 level 29.12 to be exact but this is the number we keep in mind the psychological 30 that's what a lot of the traders on the street are watching that's where we're gonna look for this key reversal candlestick to get long and then of course the volume will start creeping back up and I think that it will push back to 40 fairly quickly so if we come down to 30 no matter what I'm taking longs I want to see us hold the 200 my stop will be right around there if we keep slipping I'll just add to my position I am a long-term bull and silver I think that we're definitely gonna retest 40 at least so uh, going into the next year and the next few years, I think that silver should get back up to 75. All right, as for gold, 
Gold did not hold the key $1,500 level, which is psychological. Now we're moving down to a prior uptrend, as you can see from this channel. And the last time we tested it, we came up to it on the upside and we had a bearish engulfing pattern that turned down. Now we're testing it on the downside. And if we got to move down from there, I look for some support right around the 1427 level, which is the 20 week moving average. And then the 1422, but short term, let's look for the 50 around 1467 to hold some support. All right, now I'm looking at the GDX, which is the Market Vectors Gold Miners ETF. That's what a lot of the traders watch when they're looking at the mining sector and when they want to be diversified. They invest in this ETF, and usually when metal prices go up, this does tend to trade with it in a nice correlation. So next level is going to be around 52 half which is the low from right around late January, early February. We're going to see if we could get a bounce off that in 55. Everyone needs to watch this 55 level if you watch the GDX. Yesterday there was a lot of call buying, but notice short term we did break below this rising uptrend, and that's why you see a little more downside. And potentially we could get back down to this 46.82 if uh, the gold and the silver continue to move down to their 200 day moving average. All right, a few stocks to point out since the steel index is a little below the 200 day moving average. If steel stocks start getting a bounce and the steel prices rise, then you're going to want to look at X, which has been on a ramp down from 64, currently trading at 44.65. So that's a 20 point move in about two and a half, two and a half month time span. The price level is 42.28 that we're watching. And then right below that you have a level right around 41 half. So we're gonna see if we could get down here. You're gonna see some demand pick up and we'll probably look to get long this US steel here in the next week or two. All right, next I'm looking at Boeing, symbol BA. And I got short Boeing, what was it, on Friday at a 79 half. My target was 77 to cover three quarters of my position, and the rest I'm going to hold to 76 half. So this was a well executed trade that I made. And since the market was going down, I was long a few other positions, so I needed a hedge, and that's why I took the Boeing short. Mosaic, another one that I want to point out. Now, I made some money on this. It may not look like it um, short term, but actually yesterday we had a nice rally off the open from around 66.84, and we rallied all the way up to 69.25. So I was pretty impressed with that and the timing of my execution. But the level that you guys need to watch is right here at 68.31. Mark this on your level if you watch Mosaic. Now you know that there's a lot of supply build up in these agriculture companies right now. Also, in all of your gas, at least in Florida, you have around 12% uh, ethanol and they get that out of corn. Well, how do they fertilize the corn? They use mosaics and agriums and uh, potashes fertilizers so a lot of this works in correlation with the US oil markets I don't have time to go in detail but uh, it's something that you might want to look up and you could even call investor relations and they'll give you some well provided free information and they know the company best okay now the last thing is gasoline futures they call it RBOB which is trading at 287 now the normal local gas rate in uh, most states in our country is around 50 cents. Florida being 52 cents. Virginia, if you live up there, I believe it's 50. Anyways, you take the price 
right out of the futures at 287 you add 52 cents on it and then that's how you should get your local retail price at the pumps now it may defer uh, depending on how much supply buildup they have but right now uh, prices are still high down here so you see some price gouging going on you see them holding the prices up I don't know what's causing that but prices should be around 355 a gallon right now so just continue to watch this this could get a bounce right around 284 which is the 100 day moving average all right that's it guys got to get back to trading good luck watch mosaic watch watch a couple of them other stocks and indices for reversals also keep a lot eye on this ffiv it's looking pretty interesting right here and it has a big level that it's been holding up around 103.75 this thing does get going we're gonna to look to uh, retest the 200 day moving average in 100 right around the 112 area you'll encounter a lot of supply so keep watching this one too all right that's it talk to you guys later